Let's go, shall we pray? Lord Jesus, we want to thank you this morning for your love, mercy, and kindness upon our lives. Bring us together again in our house, Lord. Heavenly Father, to have this chance, Lord, to just worship thee, Father, and express ourselves before thee. Amen. I want to thank you, Father, for what you have done for us, Lord Jesus Christ. Father, when we look back to see where we've come from, the battles that you have fought for us, Lord, and all the overcoming, Lord, we want to praise your name and thank you, Father. Amen. Lord, we pray that you help us to learn from our mistakes of yesteryear, Lord, Father God, and improve, Lord, in our Christian life. Father God, and walk as a people of the living God. Yeah. Uh, we thank you, Father, this morning for this opportunity, Lord, of coming together. May you bless us, Lord, touch our sick and make them whole. Help me also as I stand here, Father. May I be inspired, Lord, to bring your word to the hearts of your people in a special way. Yeah. Pray, Lord, and thank you for this day and commit it in your hands. We bless your name and worship you and commit everything unto thee in Jesus Christ's holy name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Greetings to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We may take our seats for a while. Amen. 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 God bless you. Um, I know people are still tired from the all night uh, service on Friday. Uh, but. Uh, this is what this life is like. We have to do something to show that we appreciate the kingdom of God. Amen. Because if we sit back, we will not get anything. In your natural life, you have to watch to make a living. And spiritually, you also have to do something before the Lord to show your appreciation. Amen. May God bless you. Uh, we are so happy on Friday to be able to come together for our own night and, uh, and um, communion, feet washing. We will try to do that as often as we can. As the Bible teaches. And uh, we will also, um, we might have also some all nights where we don't have feet washing. It just depends. But we will continue to maintain the pace so that we have a time of prayer. If we can do it just once in three months, that is okay. No, it's not too much. Yeah, it's okay. When I came to the faith, we had services on every Tuesday that lasted until about 10 p.m. Then Friday, same thing. Friday, regarding. Sunday was two services. So it was four services a week. And very long ones. But that's what built us up. Amen. Amen. So we thank God for everything. Amen. Amen. Uh, Brother George was conveying his appreciation. Brother George, uh, for the fellowship, the love, and everything. And we also appreciated him coming this way. He just landed in Sydney this morning. So right now he must be on the flight to, uh, I think it's Canberra, which is nearest to him. And then he will have the third flight in Australia from Canberra to uh, his local town, Mackay. So it's a long haul. It's already, uh, it's already late. It's already evening time now, I'm sure. So he's just getting home in the night. And then uh, in the morning he will be at work. Or rather he said he was having a night shift. So uh, which will be like our day break tomorrow. He will be at work for the night shift. 
So I'll pray for him. God bless you. Amen. Pray for Brother Mshonga. He's in the Northwest. Amen. Amen. And uh, thank you for the financial report. Let's try to do it on time. And if you have any questions, please to ask uh, the treasurer. Uh, the normal procedure would be you ask for authority and then it's authorized and so forth. What the spoken word says. There are so few that if you are sure, yeah, it's fine. You can go to the treasurer and get clarification if you want any. We we spend what we get. The best that we can. Amen. Amen. God bless you. We want to continue from where we left. Uh, God willing, we should be going deeper and deeper with this subject. Amen. Amen. We want to stand to our feet, open our Bibles to the book of uh, St. John chapter one, chapter 4, or First John chapter 4 rather, First John chapter 4, verse 7. 1 John chapter 4, verse 7. Are we there? Let's just sing that song together. Beloved, oh, that's too long. Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God and everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God for God is love. Oh, beloved, let us love one another. We are singing that scripture. Let's sing together. Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God, and knoweth God. He that loveth not, knoweth not God, for God is love. Oh, beloved, let us love one another. That's scripture. Amen. We must sing such choruses often. Thank you also for the hymns. I love those old hymns. We must also sing the hymns. I was so blessed when Brother George went into those old hymns that we used to sing together. It was very beautiful. Amen. Amen. Okay, St. John chapter 13, John 13, verse 34. We are still continuing with our subject, do your part and God will do his part. And we are talking about love. Amen. Your part in doing love. John chapter 13, verse 34. The Bible says, a new commandment I give you I give unto you that you love one another as I have loved you that you also love one another. By this shall all men know that you are my disciples if you love one another. If you love me Keep my commandments. Shall we take our seats? Amen. These are the words from the Lord Jesus Christ. He says, by this shall all men know that you are my disciples. If you love one another. Amen. If you love one another, then the Lord the, the world will know that you are his disciples. And he says, I'm giving you a new commandment. 
Amen. We know we had ten commandments. And of those ten, the Bible did not clarify or speak clearly about love in those ten commandments. So he brings the eleventh commandment, which he says is love. Amen. Amen. Then he says, if you love me, keep my commandments. Which means that this 11th commandment is also included. So if you love the Lord, you keep his commandments. Amen. Amen. And the commandment included here, which is new, among the 10 commandments, is love. Rudo. Amen. Amen. Now we are going to see, dig deeper into it, and see what this love is all about. Because people sing about love. In the world, they sing about love. Churches sing about love. Politicians sing about love. Everyone talks love, love, love. It's a byword. Everyone speaks about it. But what is love? That the Lord says is a new commandment. Amen. In the same Bible, First John chapter 2, verse 15, don't worry about opening your journey. First John chapter 2, verse 15 says, Love not the world, neither the things of the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So now we are seeing that this love is not just love. Because if you love the world, then the love of God is not in you. So we are having now two types of love here. Love for the world and love of the Father. So there are so many people with love. But they have the love of the world. Then there are people with the love of God. These are two different kinds of people. The Bible goes on to say, or rather the prophet now, in the message condemnation by representation, he says, as often as I said, let me go into a person's house and let me see what kind of music they listen to. He mentions music first. The kind of music they listen to. And he's talking about you and I. That if I come into your house, if you come into my house, what kind of music do we listen to? One. If I get into your car, what kind of music do I hear? Or maybe I might not get into your car. I might not get into your house. But what does God, what kind of music does God hear in your house? When you are alone. In your car, when you are alone. On your phone, when you have the earphones plugged to your ears, earphones. and no, no one else is hearing, it says, what kind of music do you listen to? Let me see the kind of, one. The kind of books book. they read. Now, today, people don't read so many books. Or in, the, in them days, people read magazines. People read them through. He said, let me see the books. What do people read today? It's not magazines. People are now on the internet. What sort of stuff do you read on the internet? That's the question. The kind of things they read on the internet. And the kind of songs they sing. So it's the songs you listen to. The kind of internet stuff you sift through on up internet. and the kind of songs you sing when you are alone and the kind of pictures they have in their house. Today is no longer pictures on the wall. Today is pictures on the TV. What do you watch on the TV? Because just about everyone will have a TV. They are very cheap. People can buy TVs. But what do you 
As soon as one watch on that TV, TV Baba. What you watch on that phone? No, no, now the TV is even on the phone. TV Baba phone. So you can actually cover your head in your blankets and you put your TV on the phone. When no one else is watching. But the Lord is watching. What kind of things do you watch on there? On there. I can just about tell you what the nature of that person is. So your nature is explained by what you do. What you see with your eyes. What you hear with your ears. Because your ears eat in music. Eyes eat from what you see on your phone, on TV. That's what creates you. If you eat sadza, you'll be built by sadza. What you watch also builds your spirit. What you hear builds your spiritual being. Right? So he says the, the nature of that person can actually be t- detected by the kind of things they listen to. See, it's because they, no matter what they testify, Contrary, the fruits prove what they are. Now this thing of what you say with your mouth is different from what God says you are. The issue of what I preach it might be different from what God says I am. Because there is three other things that God says. Fruits of the Spirit. To say how, what kind of a tree is this? That's what shows you. It's not about it. It's not about anything else. It's about, it's about the fruits that you show. That, those explain who you are. If we see you walking there, you are telling God and the world who you are. We should I find say anything. On radio. Nothing should be called out on the radio. It speaks for itself. Who you are. If you see a person walking in the street, Looking you, that way. Way. you are following that person. Then you see a cloud of smoke going out. If he walks, there's a, there's a cloud of smoke. Would you be blaming him if you say he's smoking? The fruit is showing. Even the smell you can hear. If it's rained on, he has smoke coming out of his back. That disturbs other people. Those are That's what he is. If you see a woman wearing a short, walking in the street, like that, if you call a prostitute, you are not. You are not, you are not you are not that is what she's telling the world. That I'm a prostitute. You dress your wife like that. Another man comes and whistles at her. Then you want to fight that man. You are the one that needs to be beaten hard. Because you are the fool. You are displaying you your wife. You are telling so the world that she's a prostitute. So a prostitute is not for one person. That's what it is like. Those are you. The prophet says, what you speak doesn't matter. What matters is what you show with your life. Huh? No matter, oh, no man has seen God. John 4, 12. No man has seen God. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us. And his love is perfected in us. So how does do we prove that we we'll will God dwelleth in us? By loving one and then God is love is in us and it's perfected in us. If a man say I love God. 
and hated his brother is a liar. That's what the Bible is saying. John 4 20. First John 4 20. If a man says he loves God and hated his brother, he is a liar. For he that loved not his brother whom he had seen. How can he love God whom he had not seen? And this commandment we have from him. What is the commandment? Love one another. That he who loveth God loves his brother also. We are not a mari, not a mari. Now we've got a law, a law of love that were given by God. Now the Bible goes on to say, for this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. The love of God is seen when we keep the commandment of God. When we keep the commandment of God. I would want to see what God's commandments look like. Because there are people that rush to do things that are not necessary. You cannot say you are dying of hunger. One time, one time, we were at the airport then. I was accompanying Ami and Tari when they were going to Cyprus. We got to the airport. We met a lot of people there. So brother, brother, brother Matlawan is a young boy. He was still a small boy. I'm hungry. I'm starving. He started to say he was starving. I'm starving. He was walking slowly saying he's starving. Saying I'm dead. I'm, I'm, I'm starving. So the dead knew that, that we are passing by a dispensing machine. So that's why he was hungry. I'm starving. So he kept talking. And I realized that this issue was becoming What do you want? Just a juice. <laughs> and the just a juice. <laughs> Someone who's dying of hunger. Who's saying, just buy me a drink. You see that he's not hungry. It's a person that knows that if I say, I'm hungry, it's got more it's got more power than to say that I want a drink. So there's a law of God of love. That's what we want to look at. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. How many are uh, How many feel pain by coming to church? When it is Sunday, they start complaining. We are going back to church. And the pastor doesn't church. He never says today there is no church. What if God says today there is no air to breathe? God says, I'm tired. Since, they, since Adam, I've been and you were and you were breathing, and you cursed me. Today, I'm tired. There is no air. We all will die. We all die. And no one will raise. We all 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 and we breathe. In jail. People are breathing God's oxygen. But they curse God. The prophet says. In a message called 26 July 1956. 26 July 1956. It's all right for you to respect men. And love them as your brother. The Bible says love one another. And the prophet says it's good to love one another and to respect people. But don't never put the love of anybody in your heart like you have of God or before God. 
and as I said, Rudoro, Mumun, Marco, Beri, Querdor, Wamar, Kuchin Janisa, to exchange. Why is Rudor, Wevan, Mumu, Marco, the love of men in your heart? Wamar was a tear, and God's followers. Tanganer, Wamar, you should start with God's love. Keep it first. Muchengete. Love one another. Dananai. But that love, in Greek, love is filio. Which means human love. That's the love that we have. You see what it does. But the love you have for God is agapo. agapo. Which is divine love. So, now keep God first. Amen. 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 Then to Bataona, I'm just going to see a background because we want to go somewhere. Matthew 22, verse 35. Matthew 22, 35. One of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question tempting him and said, Christ is on earth. A lawyer! comes to him and asks him a question to tempt him. Master, which is the greatest commandment in the law? I thought this, he knew it, but I tempted him. He was tempting. Which one is the greatest law more than all the other laws? Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. Love God with all your, all your heart. Your waste. That's That's the first first law. Law. Speaks about the first law. Love the Lord with all thy heart. With all thy soul. And with all thy mind. Right? Amen. With all thy heart, all thy soul, and all thy mind. Everything that you are, you should first love God before you love him. But then, you should first love God before you love him. But then, you should first But then, the Bible says, How would you love God that you haven't seen? Not not that men that you've seen. How does it happen that you love God first? How does it happen that you love God first? More than anything else. You've got wives. 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 you have got wives you have you you get to a point where ah, you get then you say, I just do it. When it goes against Shabt the word of God, it means you are putting your wife over and above God. You are subservient to your wife. And the second is like unto it. The first law is love God with everything that you have. The second one, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So, so this issue of love, love is an issue of love. It's now a second law. The first is to love God. In other words, you should love God. You should love God above everyone. Now if God speaks, before you consider Jehovah, consider what God has said. Then you are worshiping God. Then you are loving God. God. On these two commandments, hang all the law and the prophets. All the worship is tied on loving God and loving your neighbor. That's where worshiping God is. There is only one individual you are allowed to hate. 
Christians are not allowed to hate. But one person you should hate. Just one. That one. That one you are free to even speak in the name of God. God will not find fault. In. His name is Devil. And his king. That one we are allowed to hate. There is not, no such thing as love your enemies. Then you won't love the devil. That's the only time you are allowed to hate. Because Satan has a brother. The devil is not your brother. It's your enemy. There are enemies that you should love. Love your enemies. And pray for them that despitefully use you. And Who kneels and worships for the devil? And prays for the devil. Why would you pray for the devil? That one we don't pray for. We don't pray for him. He's our enemy. But a person that's being used by the devil, we should pray for that person. We should love that person. But Satan watch. But the devil himself, we hate him. Our enemy. We are allowed to hate him. Amen. Amen. Now. Brother Branham goes on with the message called love. I think love is the greatest force there is in the world. On earth, there are things that are powerful. There are four things. There are four things that are very powerful. Four things. Four. Four. Our birth signs are classified under those four things. They are classified under those four things. One, one, earth, nika, nika, the earth itself. So there are people that go under an earth sign. If there is no earth, we are not there because yourself, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are dust. So the earth is a power that is life. That's our life. It contributes to our life so much. That's why all the food that's that's where that's where all the things that come from that we get come from. Just look at when this earth gets angry and it just everything that humans have done will fall apart. Earth, earth is a force. Number two, fire. 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 does not Fire. 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 Fire destroys. That's why it's called the fire of the comes to burn away all evil in our lives. We need that fire. Number three. We saw earth, we saw fire. Right? Amen. Fire do in the light. This, this light. The sun. Moto. It's fire. That's what lights up for us. If there is no sun, nothing will grow here. Life is controlled by the sun. Life on earth. The third thing is water. Water is powerful. The, world, the, the, world, the sun be there. If there is no water, there is no life. That's why people say water is life. If you are thirsty, mazoe doesn't work. To say I'm thirsty, I need a coke. If you find yourself drinking coke, you're not thirsty. When you're really thirsty, simple. Amen. This water. That's what you need. Amen. Do you know what I'm that's what you your body. Is it 70%? 80%? Amen. Your body is not 
Pauri Babab, where you are, 80% is water. You are 20%. You are just 20%. 80% is water. You are all water. Mvura ine upenyu. Water has life. Sata on earth. We saw earth. Fire. We saw fire. Water. Water. Then the last one is air. Imepo. 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 Ndoe ya tiro vira uti kufema. That's what we breathe. Ndoe ino vira kutakura. Where ichi visa panika. That. Ndoe ino kukere is away. Ine ita shukawane. From the earth. It does a lot of things. Imepo yacho onaye kakumbu. Now look when the air is angry. If there is a tornado coming. Here yeah, we don't see it a lot. We just see a small tornado. Tornado, you know, it can take fish from the sea and, so the air. and then they'll rain. Tornado. That's what a tornado does. You know, building. It can lift a building. A building, a building, a building going up in a whirlwind. Well you, a, a person we won't be, they won't even know you, you, are just, you are just you are nothing those four forces they have a work to do on earth but brother Branham the greatest force in this world is love Rudo. all these things are different after your earth your fire your water your air all of it can be defeated by love. The force of love is amazing. Love is amazing. There was a woman in her house left a child sleeping went downstairs to put a wash on the left. When she's oh, the the water, water, water. she saw fire coming and the, water water. Water. and the child is sleeping up there. Fire brigade. Fire brigade. They were putting water while they were down. They were scared to get in. That mother took a blanket, put it on herself. People wanting to hold her. She let her go. She stays through the fire up to her. Raped a child. While she's burning with the raped child, she came down. She came down with her. When she fell there, and the child was Mana, saved. Napa, akatra, iwa, the akatra, child did not bend. She bent her hair, face, and everything. What was that? Chichocho. Motherly love. Rudo. Force rudo ino kuyaka kunda moto. The power of the love of a mother. But you are not fire brigade when you are. You are fire brigade. Hawa siri oba yue mwana. It's not the mother of the child. Hawa siri oba yue mwana. It's not the father of the child. Saka. Because they do not have the love to take them into the fire. But God from heaven has enough love to get into the fire with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Get into a lion's den with Daniel. Because he's got the mother. Our, our mother love and father love. Such that when you are sick, to death. Everyone, no one wants to see you. You are smelling. God does, you don't smell that, that love. It got to Bethany. When Lazarus was dead, and everyone had agreed with buried, was buried and gone. And his clothes were given away. They went to their home. But the love came to Bethany and said, where did you put him? Went down to the grave. Thought he wanted to just go and see the grave. But love stood at the grave. And he said, remove the stone. And they said, How do you want to, to view a body of someone who was buried four days ago? Were you not told that Lazarus was sick and you did not come? You were told you are dead, you never came. But you come now. You say remove four the days. After four days, even the sister. 
saying, Lord, he is now smelling. But he wasn't smelling to God. He said, remove. When it was removed, love went to fire. The spirit of Lazarus brought it back into Lazarus. Life came into Lazarus. Love, life is love. Life came unto Lazarus. All the, all, 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 all the rotting that was happening in him, it just disappeared. And he came back to being and he walked out. Love is the greatest force. There is nothing more powerful than love. If I had the choice, it's similar to what I read on Sunday but then if I had the choice tonight, tonight and was a sinner and was standing here before God and he and he said to me what now boy I'm going to give you all nine spiritual gifts what are the nine spiritual gifts my nine spiritual gifts in the happy wisdom the wisdom of Solomon. And though the greatest of the nine spiritual gifts. That's the greatest of the spiritual gifts. People, because they want to be prophesied, they want to rush to someone who speaks in tongues. If someone drinks, speaks in tongues, prophesies, that one is taught to have a bigger gift. But the prophet says, I wisdom. The greatest of them all is wisdom. You are given wisdom. Yes, Solomon. The wisdom of Solomon. Number two, in knowledge. On top of that, you get knowledge. Knowledge of the word of God. Number three, is discernment. The third is discernment. Being able to know what is in the hearts of people. What is happening to interpret what it means. Those are the big gifts. Then there's another group. Faith. Faith. Ten. Healing. Kupozwa. Miracles. When a person can pray for the sick, I see brothers that are known to have gifts of the celebrity message. They are the celebrities in the message. Brother, so and so. The name will be known everywhere. People want to be healed. So that person is important. More than a preacher that's preaching to them so that they can be healed spiritually. Healing. Faith. And the working of miracles. If someone works miracles, that's a big person. Yes, spiritual fathers. There are some in the message we have spiritual fathers. So they will say, I'm my spiritual father. Because that spiritual father does miracles. There will be a group of teachers. They phone there and ask. Uh, as to what to do. If you give them time and it doesn't work for them, they will go and be my apostoli. They will go to which doctor? They cannot worship God. Being answered by God. Need someone who can pass it on to God for them. They will say, brother, so and so. Brother, so and so. People will go out of their way. Following that man. Not knowing that yes, he has a gift. But maybe his life is not, is not worthy of the gospel. Maybe he's not a child of God. There is another group of nine spiritual gifts. Tongues. Prophecies Profita. and interpretation of tongues. Those are the things that are put <inaudible> first. Someone speaks in tongues <inaudible> in church. <inaudible> Even if the preacher will not be able to control people. 
If someone speaks in tongues, that's another thing. As long as that person speaks in tongues, people will be gathered around. So the apostle is caught that trick. So when they get to church, he starts to sing. He starts to sing. Singing like that. And then he starts to sing. Elijah wasn't a king. Elijah is a prophet. People be gathered around. Then they start speaking things. Start speaking that thing. And people come from there. I used to think my pastor would speak with God. My sister once went into that sect when I was young. I used to admire. I'll see boys my age. They start speaking in tongues. Say, if you speak to God, what else would you want? To do? Even in even school, you don't need it. You're speaking to God. But also, no, no, Then you see the people that speak to God. The way they were so naughty. We would not, would not speak in tongues. We're better people. We get confused to say what happened. This person, one moment, the next moment, the next moment is angry. There is a clip of an impostor that went around a few days ago. A person came to ask. So he was asked something that he didn't know what to say. Then he started getting angry. He said, you talk to God so that so God can answer you. You want to use me. He's been put in a corner. Because, because he doesn't have that which he says. He's a he person that says, I've got money. We've seen people that say, I've got money. I've got money. I have money, you say. Then you ask him to show them money. There's no money. It's a person that's yeah, not psychology. Want wanting people yes. to say he's got money when he doesn't, he doesn't pay debts. But he says can we money. Money, but if you've got money, pay your debts. You are not being told. Give Just give back to those you took money from. I've got money, I've got money. So people love this. So brother Branham, the greatest force. Brother Branham is saying the greatest force is love. Is love. Is God is all, all the nine spiritual gifts. I'm sorry, I'm going, I'm going to make you a mighty preacher. How many people? Five. 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 So you can be a great apostle. Like Paul. Not the apostles that we have these days. Not those. We are talking of true apostles. Peter, and Paul. Peter, Paul. Not the teachers that we have. Teachers. Not those. We are talking of real teachers. No guita is Jojo. No guita evangelist. Make you an evangelist. No guita pastor. I'll make you a pastor. No guita prophet. Jesus, you need five. No, Jesus, Paul. You go in the nine spiritual gifts. I'll put them on you with the nine spiritual gifts. And I'm going to do all these things for you. Do it as Jesus. And I'll give you all that. Don't purchase. Oh, can I cut? I won't give you any of these things. And that's a no cooper. But let you have real love in your heart. I would say, God, God, give me love. That's right. If I was given a choice to be the biggest of them preachers, be the biggest prophet of them all, speaking in tongues, given all those, or just love, I want love instead. Now think about it, church. If you are given that opportunity or to choose what you want, what would you choose? Would you choose love? Love you cannot see with your eyes, you cannot touch. It's not tangible. It is not tangible. But this thing of praying and people see and people clap, a person would feel that they want that. Prophesying. Knowing what's in the hearts of the people. 
When people come to church in the past, you say, I know you all. Some of you, you are thinking evil against me. Brother, Zinka, you are thinking this. Brother Brenham heard that. Wait, sir. Now if it's given some of us, you see it at church. But he's saying, I don't want all those things. I just want love. Saka, it's possible that you can have all of these things without love. So a person can have the nine spiritual gifts. Can have the gift of preaching. A big one. But without love. Because you can have either or. No one can have the You can be a fierce preacher. That should the pillar of fire comes. But without love. Scary. So you can have one of them without so the other. One. Now see what our trouble because is. Because we want so many things. To, to and then we leave love out. What happens to a preacher can ask Narudo? Teach you know, compare it when he does. He has everything else. And say, what happens? And you know, to compensatory behavior. He becomes he does what we call compensatory behavior. Wanting to show that love instead of looking for the genuine agape love, he gets a habit of trying to pretend that they've got love. So they start singing about love, preach about love, pick about love. You end up getting confused in your thinking that someone has got a lot of love. He says, brother, he says, brother, I love you so much. That's to cry. Brother, I love you so much. I love you so much. And then you hug someone. I come here to preach about love. Love, love. With tears down my cheeks. Talking about love. Such that you will be feeling this is a sure You're saying that the pastor is love. Giving people money. Trying to show that I've got what I'm not sure. But I'm But I'm not But I'm not sure. 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 But I'm not God gives him compensation. If he hears a person walking, he can tell you who it is. You cannot do that. You and I can do that. But a person that doesn't want to see, if he hears someone walking, they can tell you who it is. If he hears someone's voice once, he can tell you who it is. It's compensatory. It's compensatory. It's compensatory senses given by God. You see? A person that stays under the bridge without a medical aid doesn't go to the hospital. Can bear a child under the bridge in June. That child does not get cold. cold. She does not get cold. That person will be strong. Don't be too foolish that I'm driving a good car. Get down there and say, I'll beat you here. He will get out of there with, with his dead. If he hits you once, you will be carried zero. above your car to fall down there. That person has been given something to compensate because of the life that he lives. That's why you see those people that stay in the deserts that don't wear clothes. There's nothing wrong with them. But the thing is, but the cold comes and passes and it leaves them wearing those clothes. You never hear about Ebola and those things. Runs after a, 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 a 
wild animals from here right up Kushkaiba to Kushkaiba Taibaya until he catches it and kills it. You try to run from here to borders. You leave me just for to I would have even left others. Yeah. Two or three Most borders. of you that stretch from the gate up there. You will be struggling. Majarin. Because you eat too much majarin. But you are not the one that stays in the bush. The Maasai from Kenya. When they are doing their dance, jump spring. Jump straight like this. Spring. If they ask you to do it, you do nothing. So there is what we call behavior. That a person is nothing but his principal. That's what people are doing. When they don't have love, they play love. You know children play with dolls. They put it there. They build a house of, 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 of mortar. One says I'm the father, one says I'm the mother. Then, then they are talking. They are playing house. Dolling housing. Amen. The preacher without the love of God will make you dolls to play with. The doll is not a child. You know, children, they take those those off cuts from vegetables and start cooking vegetables. When he's hungry, he doesn't eat He gets inside to eat. A pastor without love. A preacher about love that you fear. You kneel down like that. I cry for you. Until you think, I've never seen such love. There is no love there. It's compensatory behavior. That is happening. Then Paul says, First Corinthians 13. Amen. Though I speak with tongues. Now those gifts of ours, those nine gifts. With tongues of men or of angels. He's not even talking about chaitzo, chaitzo. True. Of, of angels, even of men. And they have not charity. This narudo and become a sounding brass. As a tinkling symbol. And though I have the gifts of prophecy and understand the mysteries, it is a And all knowledge, and though I have all faith, 1 Corinthians 12, there are nine spiritual gifts for He speaks of the nine spiritual Chapter gifts. Chapter 13, I'm going to Chapter 13 now. After I have everything that I have in But 13. In 13. He says, with all the faith, yes, all the faith. That I could remove mountains. Don't read the Bible like you're reading the Bible. If you have power, that you just say the door should open. And it opens. It it it. That in itself. All of Job will come and gather around you. They won't come from there with anything. They come to see you just say open door, open, and then it will come. They will not go to work to see you do that. They will come on foot. Oh, that you could move mountains. And they have not charity. I am nothing. I pray for the sick. Cancers are healed. Though I preach like the prophet without love, I am nothing. And Charity never faileth. Because it's the greatest force on earth. But whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. We saw brothers running after prophecies. And it did not work. 
Pastor comes on the, on the pulpit to correct things. Whether they be tongues, they shall cease. Whether they be knowledge, it shall vanish away. When I was a child, I speak as a child and understood as a child. Don't be the same man. And taught as a child. Paul says, when I was still a child, all these things of tongues, it was important. So I would speak like a child. But when I became a man, a person that's now a man has graduated has got love of God. I put away childish things. And now abided faith, hope, and charity. Do you know that I'm going to change the name of 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 you cannot compare love to anything. She was racist. Everything else is for all is saying is for children. When they are older, they will have love. A, 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 a preacher that is grown has got love. A mature church has got love. Not that which you just profess. Uh, you can prophesy anything. You can, you can talk about anything. With your mouth, you can do anything. That's a mouth. You say, today, if I leave this place, I'll, I'll end up in Bubi tonight. Tomorrow from Bubi, I'll be in Harare. That's your mouth. Then we say, walk. You don't get to centurion. That's someone's mouth. The greatest is love. But it's not the fact. What excites you can have both. Is that these spiritual gifts and have true love. You can have both. And you could be a man that <laughs> precise, speaks in tongues, <laughs> prays for the and same, wisdom, with whatever, everything. Then you have true and genuine. So you can have both. But the problem is, what comes first is this other. So when they come through a person, then. Uh, magnifies themselves. So now love does not come so up, not magnifies themselves. So love stands afar. Then a person gets excited is move. Thinks God is with him. God is love! So if you don't have love, means you don't have love. You've got God's gifts. If I give someone this, I say I'm giving you a gift. You've got a gift that I've given you. But you don't have me. I'm not in that gift. You don't have me because you have me. So have I said my name is But without the God. Right. Here is one problem. No problem. Which is what bothers a lot of preachers. And people too. We mistake human compassion for love. Do not mistake human compassion We think that compassion is love. Compassion is compassion. Love is love. That's why you see another child they are not the same. Compassion is compassion, love is love. People think that if a person is compassion, they've got love. They are different. Because being compassionate makes you be compassionate to people. But if you're compassionate towards someone, it doesn't mean you love them. If a thief is caught outside, the earth is thrown, running after that, that, that thief. He's caught. There's someone who doesn't even know what to do. 
keep tensing men another man takes a stone and stones this man because you've got compassion that stone that you have to throw it now you say ah no he's gone too far you leave your stone down you say leave you call the police I have got love. I saw the one that killed him. He's a thief, but that's not, that's not love. It's easy. It's compassion. You're just being compassionate. But you were chasing. If you were the first, you would have stoned him. But someone who does not have compassion went before you. Now for you to, to turn the man because you're compassionate. You say they've gone too far. Your brothers, I hope you are recording. Give me a man, don't be able to record. Phone. Phone. You forgot. You need to convert these things quickly. Mofa na convert as soon as. Well, what is a mistake? People make mistakes. Human compassion for love. Compassion e mo nerudo. Chechi piri. The second thing. Do you know what compassion does? You get to children that who, 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 who have parents that are late. The mother and father have gone into accident. Small children are left. They have been left behind. Then you get there. You start to cry. You say, oh, they've lost their parents. You feel compassion. You buy them things. Then they will say the uncle is not loved. When he got there, he was crying with his nephew. He went, he bought them something. That's not love. It's just compassion. You are just being compassionate. That's not love. If you stay a little bit, compassion ends slowly. Until you are now leaving those, 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 those children. But God, but God does not leave you. But an uncle, a grandmother will leave you. That's what people call love. That compassion. A person crying at a funeral. Very compassionate. You take that person and you beat him once. You get out of there. Say, why are you beating me? I want to run off. You want to die. We can beat you to death. I will throw myself inside the grave. Pushing people away, wanting to throw himself into the grave. Don't catch him. Don't hold him. Don't hold him. Just let him be. I will throw myself. Let the person throw themselves. If he's brave, he'll jump inside. When he does that, please just throw a few shovels of, of, of dirt in. Two or three. When he comes out of there, you say, you wanted to bury me. You'll be angry again. You got in because you wanted to be buried with your relative. So we said we'll make it easier for you. Now lie on the box so we can just close the grave. It's a person such that is getting overexcited. Or oh, it's just being too compassionate. But then they are called to have life. That person is like, look at that. When he got to Lazarus, Bethany. in Bethany, what did Christ do? As a man, he cried. Why was he crying? Why was he crying? No, verse for people That's the shortest verse. Jesus wept. Yes, Why was Christ crying? He was compassionate. He was compassionate towards the, the, the other people. Because why he Because they also cried. So you cry with those. Who cry. He cried too. Now see the people's comments. How he loved him. That's I would say. Those tears are love. But Rudo! But love say it remove that stone. Love say it remove the, the stone. Love for love to come forth. That was love. 
This thing of Christ has been compassionate. To say, ah, these people, they don't have a No mother. As a man. As a man. Samari! He got into the gear of love. Razaru Muka. You see the difference between love and compassion. It's people that are being compassionate. But that compassion is now bad when it comes to a point where the preacher is compassionate towards himself. I become compassionate for myself because of issues that you don't know. Being compassionate for myself. I start crying. I start crying. Maybe I'm thinking of my, my aunt that passed away, my father. Or something. I, say, I start crying. All of you will start crying. You don't know why I'm crying? But it's 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 you are being compassionate. It's not love. It's 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 compassion. Don't mistake that for love. Musa, je pesa nisi. Saka kuchema. So crying. I would be wanting to draw compassion from you. Matrix are not it called psychology. It's right? some of the tricks that are done in psychology. That psychological people. When they see that there's a problem here, there's what tricks that they are taught. They can cry. Or they can pretend to faint or to be sick. So that the people can be compassionate towards them. Christ, you become compassionate. You face or become sick, you are compassionate towards them. It doesn't end there. They do a lot of tricks. Some have this trick called gaslighting. You start to blame me for for nothing. That what he wants to do is eat your confidence. You start doubting yourself. Once you start, once you're doubting yourself, preachers can do those. You don't have the love of God. You come to a point where, where he does things to you with something that's not there. So that you cry and come to the altar. And you say, I pray, I, I worshiped and everyone fell at the altar. When he's just tricking you people. I have never done that. And I don't know how to do that. And do but it. Do it. I'm telling you what people do. So he does that. You'll be working with your psychology. So that you lose your confidence. And start doubting yourself. So that you that you lose your confidence. And start doubting yourself. That's what it does. You want power and control over you. Control over you. So he gets it through just uh, instilling fear in you until you doubt it. It's now being because Satan That's what the devil does. He tells you you don't worship God. You're not a brother. You're not a sister. Think this and that. Until when you're going down and you want to pray. And then you say, I'm in it. What party? Having been preached to by the devil, your evilness. You see what it does? So a man can cry. Uh, well, be, be to, 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 to bring to, 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 to find compassion within you. From the pockets of your heart. He goes and takes compassion. From you. Then you see the whole church crying. People are crying. Then you ask them, why are you crying? They are crying, the preacher was crying and feeling pity for him. Then they tell you it's the spirit of God. 
You say the spirit has come down. The whole church was crying. The spirit came down. People that have been converted. They are crying for one another. These preacher of yours is crying for a girlfriend that rejected him. That's why he's crying. He's got girls that he really wanted. And he tried and tried. And he was rejected. And you say, ah, so I was rejected by someone. Was I rejected by someone? Start crying in front of the church. People start crying as well. People start crying. There is nothing happening. There is no love. It's a criminal that is using people. You can't do that. I'm quite similar if you are a man of God. People start preaching about love that they should be said to have the love. I don't care who, it, who, who, who it, 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 it goes to, even if it's myself, I'll just tell you the truth. What I'm saying, I don't do those things. Don't think I'll come here crying for you to cry. Or to preach about love, so you think I've got love. But a person can preach about love so that you think they've got love. These worldly boys that go and impregnate children, what would they have told them? He would have told the girl that he loves. The girl thinks he's loved. Is that true that this person is loved? He doesn't want to say that I last after. Use his good words to say that. A preacher with no love will tell you I love you. Cannot say I am lasting after you with your money. So that you think you are loved. And then Christ will. And then he will. Then he will. Then he will. Does everything. So you in your mind. Think that they are in love with you. When they want what you have. And the chair that you sit on. So there is one more person in church. So he starts preaching about love, Which he doesn't have. Yes, but, but he preaches about love. So that you think they've got love. Acts love. Which he doesn't have. So you think you love. Because you'll be having the wrong definition. You've got the definition of love. love and compassion. And then, you then you think there's a lot of love in church. If there is love in the church, there is God. Because God is love. But you see a person that's crying today. But tomorrow he's got a prostitute. There is no love. Because this man of yours. There is no God. God is love. It's a hyena. It's a hyena that's, it's a hyena that's eating meat. Amen. But it's crying like it's got love. So it's a man that preaches love when they've got hatred. The worst thing that a preacher can do. Which I have witnessed over the years in Chona Hangosh Negeshitika. Chandaka wona makore and a famba. Muparids are no pomera wano. Mosha zake iye. A preacher that blames people for his own issues. We are saying things that are problematic. A that blames other people. For his own say, issues. Well, how does he do it? If he steals, he starts, tell, he starts uh, blaming you for stealing. Preaching about stealing. Such that you can yeah, yeah, someone that's stealing. Can I be a girlfriend? If he's doing girlfriend, he's always angry about girlfriends. Then you think there's someone. You say the spirit of God is in you. When it's him, people say it's called projection. 
that a person is seeing his evil in a glass refuses to say it's not real. He's the one coming out in the glass. It's a man that prostitutes. A man that does that is always up and about in women. So every time he's, he's his wife. Blaming the wife. The way you've looked at that, that man, I don't like it. You went to the shop. It's only 15 minutes there and back. Where you? you just suspect just suspecting. Many times. The, so he always thinks that everyone is a crook like him. A pastor that prostitutes. He just thinks people do something. So let me just say this. So you, you will be talking about himself and then he thinks that he's talking about other people. It's a person such that they, don't, they don't believe that it's them in the mirror. He's, he's dirty, but he's, he's that is dirty. He thinks he's someone else that's dirty. So this is not a, it's not an issue to it's not a, a little or something that you can act out. It's a life. Love is a life. That every day. Every day. Love does not work with people saying nowadays I've got love. You don't do that. Then I take out that and then I give you. I'm just giving you my book per man. That's not Pamunu Mari, Pamunu Mari. giving someone Rudo, money. Is giving someone money. Love is love. God is love. Mari Rudo. This thing of compassion is just compassion. But those need to But that's what happens. People get to a point where they, 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 they get compassionate for themselves, and we cry one another. Then we think God. And we've got love. Describes and the church so Christ what I don't know what it describes and Pharisees sit in Moses seat. Christ spoke to, to the people and said, The scribes and Pharisees sit in Moses. Oh, therefore, whatsoever they bid you observe. Jesus, are not meet itai. Observe and do. Itai. Ma Pharisee no anyura and parity. The Pharisees and the scribes are preachers. But do not ye after their words. As For they say and do not. That's the other uh, 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 characteristic, characteristic of a, of a hypocrite preacher. Yeah. Hypocrite. He says and does it does not. I know tower, but I it is not tower. Just speak. It's like someone who speaks. He's always speaking. Talking. But you could also tell out the tower where you are going to follow through. And the guy that the opposite, you'll be doing the opposite. Love, 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 love. I've got love. Brother, I've got love. I've got love. Brother, I've got love. I've got love. Yes, you do. Lip service. We want to see the life. 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 If I come here and say I've got love, about love. It must be one percent. It must be one percent. Ninety-nine percent. Ninety-nine percent. Is the life that I need. That's what you follow and say the love. That I preach is it being lived. They say and do not. They bind heavy burdens and grievous to be born. And lay them on your shoulders. But they themselves will not move them with their fingers. They'll give you a heavy burden to carry. Preachers take advantage. They make you carry a heavy burden. You, you carry a heavy burden. Boots in door, hat. No, so hat. Jay, I'm going to eat up. I'm going to talk with you. 
And padding it with the goats. That's what the He will have his hands behind his back. Man of God. That's why you see pastors can, 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 can get money out of the people. They drain money out of the people. Amen. Using compassion and fear. If you don't give me money, you don't have love. Because you want to be said to have love. You go and borrow. So you give this order. So that he says you've got love. There's no love there. Eh? You're just borrowing one another. Money. There's no God. There's no love. What starts is love. Money will follow when love is there. It's not everyone that gives you money that has got love. Someone will give you money because they see you feel pity for you. That's they just feel pity for you. That's not love. Another person has got love. Has got love. Pray for you. With the Spirit of God, it's more than someone that has given you 10,000 rand. This one is very good. And this one has got God in him. It speaks to the Father. Father, Look at what's happening. I have nothing to give. And God will It's more than It's more than a compassion. So the Pharisees, they create a heavy load, put it on your head. They say, carry, you'll be walking. Did you see, have you seen my poster? The mother will be carrying a child. Another here. Uh, the big garments. And then she's carrying something else. She's walking. The father has got his rod and a loaf of bread and a cup. He's in front. They are going to they are going they are going for church. The woman is carrying everything. And she's got other things. She's carrying a lot. And he is in front. The garments are in the bag that the wife is carrying. He's going. There's no Bible, no song book, nothing. He's going. The wife is suffering. She's scared. And then if he's asked if he loves the wife, he says, I've got love. I've got love. Does this person have love? This person is evil. And love the uppermost rooms at the feast. And chief seats in the synagogue. It's about preachers. Wanting to sit in front. And the greetings in the marketplace to be called rabbi, rabbi. Now, this thing of being a pastor, people love it. To be called the pra- a preacher. In the message. 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 A person cannot even speak. You would be wanting to I preach, I've got a gift of God. Yes, you do have it. But you have God in you. Because you should have God in you. God first. That's how your gift works. You want to rush ahead with a tire that's flat. Tire flat. A flat. Tire. You get into the car and you want to the road. You get out of the road. Oh, that tire will be destroyed. Before you go anyway. It doesn't have pressure. You have the gift of God. Without the God. That gift can even kill you. He listened to what the prophet says. I want to come to the issue that I want to come to. We'll close now. If any gift is to be effective, it must put on the robe of love. You hear it? 
if any gift to be can apply to be shed, it must put on the robe of love. A gift without love boasts and enslaves anyone who benefits from it. If you work as, with as a gift, but without love, make you a slave. Because the gift he has no God to help him. So he will use the gift to be uh, to, 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 to evil towards the people. Be prayed for by a preacher who has the gift of praying for, for the but without God in him. If you get healed, you are a slave forever. Brother, Brother, I prayed for you. That leg will come, that, that pain will come back again. Who healed the man? That's him. So, for any gift to be effective, it must put on the robe of love. Discernment of spirit. Now, if a man comes and he has a great gift. What's a big? Not a small one. I'm talking about a big gift. Don't judge him by what denomination he comes from. How he dresses. But what you want to see is what he is trying to do with that gift. It's me being talked about. I come my I do what I do. Don't judge me as how much I preach. Judge me by what I want to bring out with the gift that I have. You are coming out of church. You have to hold on to what that helps. Do you come out of this place fearing me? Sakanzi, watch what he's trying to do with that gift. What purpose? Yes. Yes. If he's trying to make take his influence and building himself into a great name out of it. I would have discernment of the spirit enough to know that he is wrong. Brother Branham is not refusing that a man has a gift. He's saying that if he's using it the wrong way, it means he's wrong. He's got the gift. But, but he has no love. That's what the prophet is saying to say if I ask what I what, what, what I want, um, I'll choose love. So the problem today the preachers have all of these things and no love of God. Now these gifts operate. When they've operated, it pulls people into the realm of compassion. People are compassionate. They think it's the Holy Ghost. They think the in the church there is the Spirit. They cry. They pray. Then they think it's done. Look at the purpose. Can of the influence to build himself a kingdom? If this person wants influence, I would have discernment enough to know he's wrong. No matter how great a teacher he is, how powerful he is, how intellectual he is, or how his gift operates, if he is trying to achieve something for the benefit of the body of Christ. Your own spiritual discernment will tell you that he is wrong. Alright, that's what I say, Amazon. Let's go now. There's people that are Let's mature. Let's be going now. very mature. What parents they do? Our preachers. What is their purpose? A person should have the uh, should, should want to uplift the, the, the body of Christ. Now, if I come here and I'm slandering every other member of the body of Christ who is not here, what is my purpose? Is my motive right? 
Beso. I'm taking a, 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 um, a crafting an tool. An ed. Man? An ed. I don't know what that is. Beso. An ed. Okay. Can I demo? Put my foot on the log, on the log, and take an X and chop my foot off. That's exactly like a preacher who speaks better about another preacher. Because this other preacher is a part of the body of Christ. And if he is a part of the body of Christ, he is chopping off part of the body of Christ. The prophet is saying, now, no matter how much of a teacher you are, how powerful you are, how intellectual you are, or how your gift operates, if you are not trying to achieve something for the benefit of the body of Christ, your own spiritual discernment should tell you you are wrong. Listen to this. No matter how accurate, how perfect, how it is, it's wrong. wrong. If it isn't for the body of Jesus Christ. No matter how accurate the prophecy is. No matter how effective the prayer for the sick is. No matter how perfect the gift is. If it's not aimed at benefiting the body of Christ, but it's aimed at benefiting the gift bearer, then it's wrong. Amen. If you are told to hold something, it's not yours. You are just told to hold it, so hold faithfully. If you, are to, if you are given a guitar, you're not being told to play it. But just hold on. If God helps, he gives you a, his gift to hold. Hold it faithfully. Don't start tuning it into your own tune. When it comes from God, it's well tuned already. Until God says, play it. Wait. Wait in Jerusalem. Until you are endured with power from high. It was people with gifts. Until they have Even the gift without love and the Holy Spirit. It can get someone into trouble. So wait. But what do people do then? Once they have a little gift, off they go. And they build themselves kingdoms. And castles. Why are they building a castle? 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 A gift will get you on a paper plane. Why are they building a castle? Why are they building a castle? But the crash, the crash will be terrible. Why are they building a castle? Why are they building a castle? Eight January 1961, Revelation chapter 4, part 3, the prophet says, and that's just what tears the churches to pieces every time. This was no parada, my church, church no parada, church. What is it that tears it? Is it the people? No parada, is it the people? What is it? It is a true gift. Operated wrong. What tears the churches to pieces? True gift operated wrong. We are not refusing that it's a true gift. But being operated wrong. A dog also has a gift of uh, having milk if, it's, uh, if, if you go and milk it. But, but would, you, would, you would, you would you drink that milk? Would you drink that milk? Dog milk is in your cornflakes. Would you drink that milk? Dog, dog milk in your cornflakes. Would you drink that milk? 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 Maybe if you come from the, uh, the east. You might try it. You might try it. The gift is true. Hold that gift. Doesn't have what it takes to operate. Motor in a battery. A car is a battery. Engine is a car. An engine is a car. License. Petrol is there. 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 Pet
the person has been given but you don't have the license to drive it wait for the license then you get into the road there are people who go to garages <laughs> the money in his pocket is goes into the garage gets to Mercedes says I want that car GLC 63 GLC 63 AMG. AMG. Signed in our dresses, sign our sign our students. Sign everything. License, that is the insurance. The license, so we do insurance. Oh, it's a license. Raka raka we say what? Without a license, that is. Raka go piwa. That he was given. Because if I have a license, you go to Orani, you go take. Was the license that you take and license that you buy? Any license, raka raka take. He's got his license that he bought. Takes it out. The keys there. That's why you when you buy from the garage, they don't want you to start a salesman. A salesman takes it out So that if anything happens, it happens out there. Because you can go through another car. Or so let's, let's drive it out for him. His flowers are so you cannot drive it from inside because you are risky. It gets out. Then you, they take pictures. Then you are given the keys. You get into it. It doesn't say no. You start it. You put it in gear. Then goes the walls. the walls. What happened to this woman that came here? She showed us a license. The license was bought. Yes, the license was bought. Then you find the car. Yeah, up and up and then he wants to call those who gave him a gave a tender. You agreed, they gave you everything. You got into a place where you're not supposed to go. You don't have the power to go. A true preacher. You've been given a gift. It's like someone who's born. You've got the car. But you don't have the license. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, you don't have the license. So if you don't have the license, you drive. If you drive you get into an accident. You get into an accident. That's why you see people. A lot of accidents happen. Accidents with people. Accidents with people. Brothers, money and, 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 and um, scaring people. He's always in the accident. But he does not agree that he's, he's in an accident. You hear, that you hear that woman complaining that I saw something when I got into the car. I saw this or that in the car. There is nothing in the car. You just don't have the license. You cannot drive. Do drive things. You drive to the Man. So a pastor. You've got the gift. The prophet is saying, and just what tears churches to pieces. Every time, every time is a true gift. Operated wrong. See? Something God is trying to do, and then operated wrong. Just that simple. Not only hurt you, but it will tear the whole church up. It kills the owner of the church. God's feather kills the church. The gift is true. The pastor is true. But it doesn't have what to operate the gift with. The Holy Spirit What is calling the Holy Ghost? In human compassion. That's making the church And he crying in front of him. And they say it's the Holy Ghost. Then you start to ask questions. So, so why not have the Holy Ghost? If he's the, if he's the Holy Ghost, why is he not starting the car? 
Can I license you? If it's the true license, that's I true true why is he getting into the walls with it? Because what he told you is not the is not the whole. He cannot tell you what he doesn't know. Can you take someone who has finished their course the Bible? The theological college. From the theological college. And you tell them to teach the engineers. Can, or the accountants. Because it's not what they've done. A true prison can get you into a place where you think they've got the Holy Ghost. Tell you you've got the Holy Ghost. Yeah, human compassion. When it's just compassion. So there'll be a lot of accidents in church. But if you want to lift up your head, because he's lifting himself, whoever lifts his head, lift whoever lifts his head, so, so, so you must all be on the floor. Him just walking on top of you. Man of God. Man of God. What? Yes, church is to pieces every time. It's a true gift operated wrong. It's not only hurts you, but the whole church. The brother Branham. That's brother Branham. The person that's cutting himself. And the knife is correct. What needs to cut is there. But he's skilled to But he doesn't have the skill to cut. Doesn't have the skill. And he's a rogue. He puts his hand. Oh, at the bottom. Talking too many things while cutting. Cut your 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 fingers as well. Open it up. Banga mosha. Then he ends up blaming the knife. Banga chipoga. The knife is a gift. Now you're giving the gift. You and your operator chipo church or wrong? When you are operating it wrong. You see, I could check any sword of the word. Cutting himself with the sword of the word. The word of God is cutting. Because he doesn't have what is required to operate the kingdom of God. Those boys, James and John. The, amen. Bonages. They were called Bonages. The sons of thunder. Yeah. Amen. They were working with Christ. There was not the, what was in Christ was not in them. So they got there and say, Lord, we were preaching there. That city has refused to receive the word. We thought of being like a light. Means you've got the church Wait until you wait. wait the Holy Ghost. James and John, they wrote the Bible. They were okay now. They are right. They wrote what about the Bible. they were talking about. Love. Because love. Because love had gotten it. The true preacher can preach without the Holy Ghost. But the result is without the Holy Ghost. But the result creates human compassion in you. human compassion in you. So that you feel pity for him. And then you cry one Then it, they say it's a Holy Ghost. You remember the other time? My wife remembers the other time. People cried in my house. Praying. Praying. And the Spirit of God came down. When it was at the Spirit of God, people that were crying for something else. But it was said it was so the Spirit of God. So you begin to see that many times when we say the Holy Ghost, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's not. Us having pulled people's compassion from their hearts. That's the time. I did that. I did. 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 Yes, you did. But what did God do? Because you did everything. 
So everything is you who did it. So what did God do? Because you did work. Because you are saying you did. Saka unoda was title you could do work. You need the title to say you did. So people can feel. But the moment you realize it's not you, it's God. Then you accord the honor to God. Unopa mbiga achuka kuti you did it. Unopa mbiga achuka kuti you did it. Then you accord the honor to God. Unopa mbiga achuka kuti you did it. But when you say I did, you also want the honor. You know what that will cause? Brother, brother, my sugar panji. Brother, brother, I must get to a place. Pray for a cripple. Go na matira. Muno ofa mbuda. Gare mar. Muno ofa mbuda imo. A person walks. What does disappear? Who end? Goes away, disappears. God, what's that? What's that? What's that? It's kapana apaji. Muto muda mnyo superpower. It's baka ita mira ko hiri. People then wonder what happened. Pa angosh ka umuru meso. Angosh ka kati muru. People just say there was a miracle man, a man that came and just told the person to walk in the walk. If you and I can do that, get into a place, you pray for someone, then you just disappear. You want to wait and give people your CV business card and a business card. Hey, my name is Pastor So and So. We work with the Spirit of God in our worship. So all of us. There's something that you are doing. You should come to me. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You will be looking at people. This one is light. Maybe they pay a lot of time. That's what we are. Those are tears. Brother Branham, why you go to? Brother Branham would just go and pray for someone and disappear. Oh, oh. I'm thinking there's still time. God bless you, Rekai. Let's just close. Let's just give me five minutes to wind up. Five minutes and I'll wind up. Saka, it's who is strive to get honor and glory. Things that God does in us. Preaching divine healing does not make me a divine healer. Pray for the sick does not make me a divine healer. Just like preaching salvation does not make me a divine savior. So any gift that will be is to be effective must put on the robe of Love. 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 That's the true love. True love is not compassion. We preach about love. But we want to come from another angle. That comes from the preacher to the people. God bless you. I was thinking I'm in the middle of this thing. So we stop there. May God bless you. Love is not compassion. Don't mistake the two. A preacher without the Holy Ghost can preach compassion but cannot preach Love because God is love. If there is no love in him, there is no God in him. He will do all the miracles. Preach good. But the prophet says this gift. If it's a true gift, and it's operated wrong, it kills the church and the owner of the gift. May God bless you. God bless you. Shall we bow our heads?
Stage one. But I didn't even notice that the time had gone that much. Anyway, uh, all things are possible. Marwano Marwa no kwa nsa kumpo da uti daro. Zino wa ni kwa mari. What might want us to go that way? Marwa go ba fadzi. Pray for one another. And you pray for me. Tola onya se inda ni nyaya uti uti batsire. We want to go with this issue so it helps us. Ne kupindura mi vunzo mu penyu edu. And to answer questions in our lives. Uti marwa uti batsire uti tema Krista arina. So God, God helps us. We become better Christians. God bless you. Marwa go ba fadzi. Amen. Apo Jesu anuhuya kutora varume anotora vakanaka avuva no mudam vanuva We just want to thank you, O God. Amen.
Jesus.